Yo! Sorry for the ears. What's good, everyone? Ah, I'm so excited to do this. I'm so excited to do this. The time has finally come, and we are starting off with our Madden franchise series. So this is going to be a series. Every episode, we are going to be playing one game. And it's kind of, if you guys know Bengal, shout out Bengal. I got this idea from him. Um, it's just going to be a long series of franchise. And the team that I thought would be best fit for this, I probably should have made it more of a, you know, surprise and scrolled across the teams. But it's going to be the New York Giants. It took me a while to think of a team. I tried to dress a little bit formal, you know. I didn't want to come in here with a suit and stuff like that because I would be absolutely drenched in sweat. But I figured, you know, let's do a little former, formal. Let's get the blue going on to represent the Giants, you know what I'm saying. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm having – we're going to have a lot of fun with this. Anyways, what I was saying, though, the teams I was considering, I was thinking of doing Washington, another NFC East team. I felt like that could have been good. I was thinking of the Patriots. I felt like that could have been a pretty fun series, um, especially since most of my, you know, viewers are probably pay, uh, Patriots fans. But I felt like the Giants is just going to be the best for this series. You know, they're probably, when it comes to in-game play, they're probably the worst team out of those three. Yeah, you could argue between Washington. And I don't know. I, I just feel like the Giants was a good pick. So, real quick, let's go over the roster. Um, right away, our quarterback position needs work. <laughs> um, in game and real life, I just don't think Daniel Jones is the solution for the New York Giants. I know some New York Giants fans probably will disagree with me there. Um, I felt like he's been given enough opportunities. I feel like this season, um, he really has to prove himself, especially with getting Kenny Galladay, who is a very capable wide receiver one option. And even with guys like Sterling Shepard, Darius Slayton, Kadarius Tooney now coming in on his rookie year. He has options. Saquon Barkley's hopefully going to be healthy for this year at running back. Um, so, yeah, we, we may look to get ourselves a new quarterback in the in the draft. Offensive line isn't great. Not great at all. It is pretty young, though. We got Andrew Thomas coming in on his second year. Um, Nate Soldier's a little bit older for this team. But we are definitely going to look to improve this O-line in the draft as well. Evan Ingram's a good tight end. You know, he he, <laughs> he loves to drop footballs and not catch them. Um, but in this game, he's he's really good at tight end. I mean, having 89 speed at tight end is just deadly. So we'll probably keep him around. Uh, they picked up Kyle Rudolph, who played for the Vikings. And then we... Uh, I, I don't really think we need Kyle Rudolph. I think he's just on a one-year deal. So we might just keep him and then let him go. Heading over to the defense. Um, defense isn't too bad, you know. Defense is all right. Our linebacking core could definitely be better. You know, Blake Martinez is all right. I actually feel like he should be a higher overall. He's pretty good in real life. Uh, Lorenzo Carter is a decent player. Ojulari right away is going to be our starting right outside linebacker. Um, I don't know too much about this guy. Oshan Zimenez. I mean, I, I, yeah, I don't know too much about him. Uh, Logan Ryan is, might be a guy who we look to trade. He's on a pretty ugly contract, and I think he's here for a while. Um, let's go to... Where is it at? Um, I, I've just passed it. Yeah, three years. I know Logan... I, I'm a fan of Logan Ryan in real life. He's a cool guy. Um, <laughs> I'm acting as if I like know him in person. In high school. Um, I know Giants fans love him too, but just... With younger guys like Xavier McKinney... Um, I just feel like he, we got to be getting him in more. Um, you know, Jabril Peppers is a solid, strong safety for us. And then you look at our secondary. Our secondary is pretty good. Uh, got James Bradbury, who had an absolutely crazy year last year. Um, and then Adore Jackson, who I believe they picked up from the Tennessee Titans in free agency. And then we got, uh, who is this? Josh Jackson feel like I should know Josh Jackson, but I don't. And then uh, Darnay Holmes coming in on his second year. And then this is what the D-line looks like. Not too bad there either. Um, and it's a pretty young D-line as well. You can see Leonard Williams, 27. Well, I guess that's not really that young, but he still has a couple good years left. I Okay, I completely made up the young D-line. I mean, Dexter Lawrence is young, but these two guys aren't. I don't know where I was getting that from. 
<laughs> and remember, I'm kind of, you know, I'm a, I'm a little bit of a buy. Here's Tony. I actually want him to be our punt returner as well. And there's the nickel and dime. We're going to move Ojulari up there. Next thing I want to look at real quick, though, is the contracts of the players on our team. Okay, that's not it. Dude. Where are they? Oh, team salaries. There we go. There we go. <laughs> All right. And then we'll organize here. So um evan ingram we're gonna have to re-sign him for next year and figure out figure that out unless if we want to trade him this year but i don't think we're going to be trading him uh we got your bill peppers we'll probably re-sign him back we got price at the center position we may just have to re-sign him because of how bad our o-line is wow nate soldier's making a lot of money holy shit a patriots legend yeah i feel like sterling shepherd is a guy that we could get rid of you know, because I'm, I'm content with Darius Slade being our second option, and then we want to get Kadarius Tooney more involved. Um, so Sterling Shepard, getting him off that contract is going to be huge for us. Those are any teams that are in need of a wide receiver here, in desperate need. Um, the Patriots could use a receiver. Patriots could use a receiver. I don't know if they would necessarily check. I also want to try and keep this, you know, like somewhat realistic. You know what? Maybe the Raiders. Oh, we got two first round picks. And that's a done deal. So we trade Sterling Shepard this year's fifth and next year's seventh to bring in a second round pick for this year and a fourth round pick next year. I like that. Getting ourselves two first round picks and two second round picks for next year is going to be huge for us. I'm pretty sure even on red, we could possibly possibly trade them away to get like a fourth or a fifth round pick. But I feel like it's not. It's just not worth it. Like I, we can be competitive this year. Our division isn't the best. I mean, the Cowboys are going to be great, especially in Madden. That's just how it is. Um, and then, you know, the, the Eagles in Washington, we could definitely beat out if we have some good games. But I think that's going to call it for this episode. We're just going to take another look at our roster real quick. See if we... Um, so, yeah, Kadarius Tooney moves up to our wide receiver three. Darius Slayton's our second option. That's that. I'm really excited to get into the series. Let me know what you guys think down below and what other moves I should make for this season. Um, and I will be downloading the draft class, the realistic one for next year as well. Um, but I love you all. And peace!